My name is Audrey Nisbet, and I'm a PGY3 Diagnostic Radiology Resident at the University of Arizona, Tucson. I'll be presenting a summary of diffusion abnormalities in the pediatric patient with acute abdominal pain, which will be included in full as an educational exhibit as part of ARRS 2023. This exhibit was completed with Dr. Mushtaq, Dr. Gilbertson, and Dr. Udia Sankar. We have no disclosures. We will start with a brief introduction to the basic concepts of DWI and highlight key points of our institution's rapid MRI protocol of the abdomen and pelvis. We'll conclude with a quick case review to highlight the salient learning points of a few pertinent gastrointestinal and genitourinary causes of acute abdominal pain. Diffusion is the free and random movement of water molecules in the intracellular, extracellular, and vascular spaces and is impacted by the tissue properties of those spaces, such as cell membranes and macromolecule composition. Restricted diffusion is the impaired movement of water molecules in the setting of highly cellular physiologic or pathologic tissue and in pre-morbid cells that have lost the ability to produce ATP and therefore to maintain an appropriate ion gradient across the cell membrane due to compromised transmembrane ATP-dependent channels. Diffusion-weighted imaging is a fluid-sensitive technique that leverages the different properties of water inherent to these spaces and the known characteristics of various pathologic conditions to give information about the type and functional status of a tissue. DWI is a T2-weighted sequence that utilizes a phase and rephase gradient. Simply put, if a water molecule is moving freely, it will appear dark on DWI. If a water molecule is restricted in its motion, it will appear bright. DWI is read in conjunction with the apparent diffusion coefficient, or ADC map, which is a plot created from the DWI images. When interpreting DWI images, we use the highest B value available in most cases to reduce background water signal, and sites of restricted diffusion will appear bright. On ADC, if the corresponding location appears dark, that is true restricted diffusion. Here, we see this in the spleen due to its physiologic high cellularity. DWI is a key sequence in our rapid MRI abdomen pelvis protocol, which is a non-contrast enhanced MRI that has a total scan time of 7 minutes and 54 seconds for males and 10 minutes and 32 seconds for females with the addition of the space sequence through the pelvis. Our rapid MRI examination provides many benefits, and some research suggests that it may be more cost-effective than other imaging modalities when evaluating acute abdominal pain due to its wide field of view and diagnostic clarity. At our institution, in presumed cases of acute appendicitis, rapid MRI led to an alternative diagnosis in 37% of patients. Moving on to a quick case review with pertinent contributions of DWI in image interpretation and diagnosis. In this patient with right lower quadrant abdominal pain, we see a blind ending tubular structure with associated T2 spare and DWI hyperintensity. Research suggests that DWI improves sensitivity and accuracy of the detection of appendicitis when compared with conventional MR alone from 81% to 92% and 82% to 92% respectively. In this case of a female patient with right lower quadrant pain and fever, DWI serves as a problem-solving tool to stratify uncomplicated and complicated appendicitis, the latter of which is seen here with complex fluid layering in the pelvis, highlighted by its dependent restricted diffusion. In this case of right lower quadrant pain and fevers, we see an edematous right kidney on T2 spare, though the etiology may not yet be definitively clear. Is this a case of edema in the setting of obstructive uropathy, or is this pyelonephritis? The wedge-shaped foci of restricted diffusion, which correspond to areas of hypo-enhancement on T1 post-contrast images, indicate the latter. Research suggests that DWI is the most sensitive sequence for the identification of interstitial nephritis with up to 100% sensitivity. DWI also obviates the need for contrast administration in the evaluation of pyelonephritis, as seen in this case. DWI is also crucial in the evaluation of renal abscesses, not seen in this case, which will demonstrate a significantly lower ADC value than that seen in uncomplicated pyelonephritis. DWI can be helpful in parsing out pelvic inflammatory disease, its complications, and its mimickers. PID can present with a wide range of acute and chronic complications, ranging from inflammation of the pelvic structures to pyosalpinx and abscess. Mimickers of PID include tubal torsion and hematosalpinx. Lee et al. found that DWI served to increase the sensitivity of detection and accuracy of diagnosis with an increase in negative predictive value when compared to conventional MR alone. Finally, in the case of ovarian torsion, there is research highlighting the utility of DWI and ADC in the evaluation of ovary viability. In cases such as this one, there are areas of perifollicular restricted diffusion with particularly low ADC values concerning for perifollicular hemorrhagic infarction, a potentially poor prognostic sign. However, in this case, there is restricted diffusion of the left ovary, but the ADC values are not low enough to suggest hemorrhagic infarction. 
This restricted diffusion may be in the setting of cytotoxic edema produced by premorbid cells in a more acute setting. This finding may indicate possible viability of the ovary, which may significantly impact management. In summary, DWI is a valuable problem-solving sequence in the evaluation of acute abdominal pain, and knowledge of DWI properties can assist radiologists in the interpretation of MRI examinations performed for acute abdominal pain, particularly when performed with a rapid, non-contrast-enhanced protocol. DWI does have limitations, such as the restriction of dense physiologic tissue, and is best interpreted in conjunction with standard T1 and T2-weighted sequences. Thank you.